Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Hi, everybody. It's great to be with you. Miss you all. Let's get right to it. Let's stretch. Oh. Oh, oh your shoulders forward. Uh, roll them back. Wiggle your wrists and your fingers and your mouth and your nose and your face. Take a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Reach up to the ceiling and down to the ground. Nice and slow. Don't rush through this. And then slowly stand up as well. Roll your neck around. Switch directions. Another deep breath in. And let it out on a shh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 zero. Please take a seat. Before we get to Zumba rhythm, we are going to add another rhythm to this exercise. All of us have learned Tom T by now, and we are gonna add it in. Let's go. So like I said, this week we're adding Tom T. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Tom, T, 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 Ta. Cinco, Pa, Tiki, Tiki, Ta. Ta, ah, Cinnamon, Grasshopper. Tiki, Tiki, Grasshopper, Cinnamon. Okay, as it speeds up, we gotta be ready for the ta-a and the rest as well. So let's make sure we don't get tricked. One, two, ready, go. Tom, ti, 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 ta. Cinco, pa, tiki, tiki, ta. Ta-a, cinnamon, grasshopper. Tiki, tiki, grasshopper, cinnamon. Very good. As it gets faster, it will become more challenging. One, two, ready, go. Tom, ti, 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 ta. 
cinco, pa, tiki, tiki, ta. Ta, a, cinnamon, grasshopper. Tiki, tiki, grasshopper, cinnamon. Whew. It is warm in this room, but whatever. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Tom, ti, 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 ta. Cinco, pa, tiki, tiki, ta. Ta, a, a cinnamon, grasshopper. Tiki, tiki, grasshopper, cinnamon. If you made it through that rest, nice job, everybody. Well done. Let's go to our next thing. For Rhythm Wars today, each grade is going to have a brand new rhythmic unit to practice. For my first, second, and third graders, we are going to take Tom T, and we are going to flip it into something that looks like this. Can everybody say T Tom? Very good. You'll notice that all we did was switch Tom T to T Tom. Let's do a couple of these in a row at different speeds. Let's do four in a row at this beat. One, two, ready, go. T Tom, T Tom, T Tom, T Tom. Very good. Let's do it a little bit slower. One, two, ready, go. T Tom, T Tom, T Tom, T Tom. And now let's go faster. One, two, ready, go. T Tom, T Tom, T Tom, T Tom. And extra fast. One, two, ready, go. T Tom, T Tom, T Tom, T Tom. Nice job. Let's go to Rhythm Wars. Before we get to the main thing in today's lesson, first we're going to review all of the notes on our treble clef. Here we have our five line staff and we have our treble clef situated over here on the left hand side. So now we know the names of all the notes that occur in each line in each space. Let's review them. 
Starting at the bottom, we have C going up to D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. The trick that we can use to remember notes that fall in the spaces of the treble clef, F, A, C, E, it spells face, which rhymes with space. And then for notes that fall on lines, we're gonna start on this bottom line of our staff. It goes E, G, B, D, F, or whatever acronym you want to use. I like elephants go bouncing down freeways, always have. It's up to you. Which leaves down at the bottom, we have C and D, just below our staff. If we were to look on a piano, that C that falls below the bottom line of our treble clef is sort of in the middle of our piano. If we look at this piano right here, we see that we have a logo and almost every single piano has one. And what we want to do is we want to find the cat that's closest to whatever logo we see. And so we see C right here, which means that our treble clef works for the C and then all the way getting up higher. On our piano. And that means that we have a whole bunch of other notes that we haven't even learned about yet. If C falls in the middle, we're going to be focused on all the notes below it. So starting here and going down, all of these notes fall on a different clef than the treble clef. They fall on the bass clef. So when we put this bass clef onto our five line staff, guess what? Each line and each space means a different note than if we were looking at the five line staff with a treble clef on it. In order to learn all the names of the notes that fall on lines and in spaces on our bass clef, we're gonna watch a video. So here we go. So we know the treble clef is used by high-pitched instruments like the violin, flute, and the upper half of the piano. But some instruments play low sounds, the cello, the double bass, and the lower half of the piano, amongst others. Because of their low pitch, low sounding instruments use a different clef, the bass clef. Also known as the F clef, the bass clef tells us what each of the lines and spaces are called. And just like the treble clef, the bass clef comes with its own set of catchy rhymes to help us read the notes. For bass clef notes that are on the lines, we can use the rhyme Granny Bakes Donuts for Alice. And for bass clef notes that are in the spaces, we can use Angry Crocodile Eats George. Or whatever rhymes your teacher has taught you. Got it? Cool! Let's do some examples. What's the pitch name of this note? Well, it's on a line, so we can use the Granny Bakes Donuts for Alice rhyme. Starting at the bottom line, we say Granny Bakes Donuts. D for donuts, so our note is called D. Let's do another one. This time the note is in a space, so we can use the Angry Crocodile Eats George Rhyme. Again, starting at the bottom, we say Angry Crocodile Eats George. G for George, so you guessed it, our note is called G. And that is all there is to it. Super easy. Music quiz! The pitch names of these four notes will spell out a word. Use the rhymes and let me know in the comments below what you think that word is. Happy music theorying, everyone. Some other acronyms that we can use in addition to the ones we learned in the video are for lines, great big dragons fly around, grizzly bears don't fear anything, or my personal favorite, Good burritos don't fall apart. They never do. And for our notes that fall in spaces on the bass clef, here's the one that I like and the one that anybody pretty much has learned if you've ever played piano. All cows eat grass. If there are any that you would like us to all know, why don't you leave a comment down below and we can share all of our fabulous acronyms. So now that we have some tricks to remember how to name the notes on the bass clef, let's put them to practice. 
I'm going to share my computer screen with you and we're going to use the same website that we used last week. So musictheory.net and they have an exercise on their website just to practice the bass clef notes. I'll walk you through it. So let's go to musictheory.net so we can get started with our practice. We're going to go to exercises like we did last time, but instead of doing keyboard note identification, we're going to just do regular note identification for our staff. And you guys should end up with a window that looks like this. I want you to go and change a few things in the settings. So everybody is going to change this. We have to um, change treble clef to bass clef, obviously. So I want you to click treble clef and then unclick treble clef. That way we're practicing bass clef. And then two more things that we have to change. I want to change the range of notes from here. The lowest one should be the bottom line of our staff. And then the top note should be the top line of the staff. Finally, your note filter will be turned off. I want you to turn it on. And I want you to take out all of the flats and all of the sharps. Now granted, if some of you already know how to identify notes on the bass clef, then you can make this as hard as you want. You can keep all the flats, keep all the sharps, or you can even extend the range too. This is just what I want everybody who this is brand new for. I want you to start here. So you only see the regular letters of our musical alphabet, and then you'll only be given notes to identify from the bottom line to the top line. And then just like we use this website to practice for our treble clef notes, um, we're going to take our new knowledge about the bass clef and what are the new names based on the lowest line, the, the, the second line, third, fourth, fifth. We're going to take all of our information about lines and spaces. We're going to apply it. We're going to put it to practice. So this is the top space. So it's G. The lowest line is G on the bass clef. We'll do a couple more. See if you can guess it before I guess. I click the answer. We'll do three more. Great. So all I want you guys to do for today is to spend between 5 and 10 minutes at least practicing um, identifying notes on your bass clef. Have fun! Good job with your lesson and practice this week, everybody. There is no quiz like there was last week, but I would encourage all of you to continue practicing this bass clef stuff for a couple more minutes. Before we say goodbye for this week, I wanted to try something a little bit new. For our last couple of weeks together, I thought it'd be fun for us to all sing some songs at the very end of each of our lessons. I wanted us to enjoy singing maybe some songs that for older students, you might remember from when you were younger, and for some of my younger students, will be really, really fun to introduce to you this way. For this week, I thought that we'd have a little bit of fun, so I want you all to say hello to... Chili Chickens! Let's begin! I'm going to call out the color for each of our verses before we begin, and then we'll sing our tongue twister together, just like normal. For our first color, let's do white. Will you wear white, oh my dear, oh my dear? Will you wear white, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear white, that color's too bright. Oh, buy me a foldy rolly tildy toldy seek a double use a cuz a roll a buy me roll Jenny Jenkins roll Fantastic For our next color, let's do blue Ready and go Will you wear blue, oh my dear, oh my dear Will you wear blue, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear blue Oh, buy me a foldy rolly tildy toldy seek a double use a cause a roll a buy me roll Jenny Jenkins roll hmm. Let's do pink Will you wear pink oh my dear oh my dear Will you wear pink Jenny Jenkins No I won't wear pink I'd rather drink ink Oh, buy me a foldy rolly 
until he told you seek a dumb will use a cuzzle roll a find me roll Jenny Jenkins roll Okay, let's do green Will you wear green, oh my dear, oh my dear Will you wear green, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear green, I'll just look like a bean <laughs> Oh my me for our final color, let's do red. Will you wear red, oh my dear, oh my dear? Will you wear red, Jenny Jenkins? No, I won't wear red. I'll just look like a strange loaf of bread. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, buy me a boldy roll, the tilty toldy, seek a double, use a cuz a roll, a buy me roll, Jenny Jenkins roll. Everybody give yourself a great big round of applause. Wonderful job, everybody. With that, we are going to say goodbye. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I miss you all. I know I say that every single time, but it's really true. I miss you all. I hope that you're doing well, and uh, I wish you the very best as you go about your week. Okay, with that, bye guys. <laughs>